Good morning, Wonderland. Spring has sprung here in the Virginia area. I'm getting out on the water today. Hoping to do some good birding. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> this morning ah, I'm already seeing a prothonotory warbler which is awesome but anyway <laughs> I've come this morning to um, deep bottom boat launch which is actually on the uh, James River but just around the corner from that boat launch is Four Mile Creek where it meets the James um, and it looks like a nice little paddle a little bit calmer than the James although the James was pretty still this morning too um, but anyway yeah, I'm gonna paddle up Four Mile Creek a bit. It's supposed to be a pretty good birding hotspot. And I'm already seeing and hearing a bunch, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, photograph photographically speaking, I'm gonna try out FV mode. There's that warbler again. Oh, this is a nice spot. Okay, um, yeah, FV mode is a Canon mode on their newer mirrorless cameras. So the R5 has it, I'm sure the R6 and the rest have it as well. I've got my R7 today because um, I wanted the extra reach, of course, and I'm going to need it with this warbler flying in and out of a nest box. I love it. Okay, great. Um, anyway, uh, so what FV mode does, it's flexible priority mode is, is what it actually stands for. <clears throat> and what it does, it basically lets you, it takes AV, TV, and kind of puts those together and it also gives you an ISO priority mode. And that's kind of how I'm going to use it. Because usually, these days, I shoot manual. Um, I look at the lighting, trying to dial it in, check through the viewfinder, of course, with exposure simulation. You just tweak your settings. Um, when I'm shooting birds, like right now, I'm going to want a high shutter speed of about a thousandth of a second. Um, yeah, fastest aperture I can get usually. So I've got the 100 to 500. That'll be f7.1 at the long end. And then I mess with the ISO as high as I need to to get a good exposure. But what FV mode does is kind of blend manual exposure mode with an auto mode. So I can set that one one thousandth of a second shutter speed. I can set my aperture as open as it can go. And then I can let the camera fiddle with the ISO automatically. Um, so maybe that'll work better. I haven't tried it too much. I've tried it a little bit. Um, and I've always tended to go back to manual. But today let's try auto ISO in FV mode and see how that goes. That's the plan. Um, and yeah, on post, I feel pretty good these days about cleaning up noise in high ISO situations. I'm actually in the middle of working on another video that I've been working on for a while. <laughs> um, but I need to do some stuff at the computer, which I haven't done before. So as far as capturing my editing process. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, this one hopefully will be a little more simple so I can get this up quickly, but because um, it's been a while. Sorry about that. And now I'm babbling. So let me get to shooting. Try FV mode. We'll see how it goes. Okay. There's the warbler again. Shoot. I'm just hoping you can hear all this. Surrounded by the birds. And I've seen a few so far. Not a whole lot. But there's a marshy area that I want to make it into. Um, ooh, there's something. Ran, I think. Anyway, there's a marshy area that might have more um, waterfowl waders and that sort of thing. But yeah, it's nice to be on the water again after a while.
marshy area. What do I hear? Not much happening in the marshy areas today. And it's kind of a maze back there. Interesting. So yeah, I think I'm still hearing a lot, of course. So uh, I'll head back out to the main channel of Four Mile Creek. See what else I can spot. Oh, and so far, Effie seems to be working pretty well. I think I'm liking the exposures I'm getting. And uh, I haven't seen it go above 3200 ISO, which isn't too bad. So yeah, hopefully we'll get some good stuff today. I just need to go get more of it. <laughs> it is a pretty day. <laughs> okay, so I thought I should be a little more clear or detailed on what we're talking about today here. So here's my trusty R7. You can see on the mode dial, FV, that's what I'm selected on. And then when you come to the back of the screen, and I'm hoping you can see this okay. Apologies if not. So you can see at the bottom of the screen here, you've got all your various exposure parameters. So shutter speed, aperture, exposure compensation, and ISO. So right now, like I said, I've got it set to 1000 on the shutter speed, 7.1, which is as wide as my lens goes at 500 millimeters, uh, no exposure compensation and ISO auto. So I could come over here and you can see this little uh, orange scroll wheel indicator. That's what tells you what you're adjusting, of course, and then the, uh, your main dial up top is what actually changes it. So if I'm on ISO, if I dial in, say, 200, now I'm in a manual mode, basically, because I'm not having the camera control anything. And you'll note also exposure compensation goes away because you're basically manual, right? Um, but that really defeats the purpose of the mode. So you want to set something to auto. So you can do ISO. Um, you could set aperture to auto if you dial all the way down. You can set your shutter speed to auto, and that one takes a while. You've got to go all the way past 30 seconds <laughs> to get to auto. Um, I feel like there might be a button that automatically sets it to auto. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, um, yeah, you want the camera to do something in auto. So generally, for me, that's going to be ISO. Um, yeah, because I want, for birds, I want a fast shutter speed. I need as much light as I can get, but I want the camera to do something. So that's where auto comes in there. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I think so far so good, again, um, yeah. But now, I'm on my paddle back, I think. So I'm starting to get hungry, it's lunchtime. Um, yeah, and I'm fighting the current on the way back, so I might not film too much, but hopefully I'll spot something else interesting along the way. <laughs> hey, think. That's cool. Fairly short video today, I think. Got a few good shots, not as many as I'd hoped. Um, I think I was here at the wrong time of day. It wasn't quite early enough. I started out maybe 9, 9.30, uh, about 11, it's almost noon now. So yeah, midday is not the best for a lot of these birds, but uh, I'm happy with the prothonotory warblers. Very nice, Saw a bunch of those actually. Happy with some other stuff and uh, FV, I think turned out okay I might have to get in the habit of using that especially when I'm shooting birds and they happen to be dodging in and out of light and shadow having not to adjust the ISO would be handy so take it under advisement <laughs> all right off to lunch wherever you are hope you're having a great day you know the drill be good to yourself take care of each other don't forget to be awesome get out and wander <laughs> till next time mm -hmm.